Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to the Sparkling Autos YouTube channel. In this week's video we're taking a look at Alkaloy which is a non-acidic dilutable wheel cleaner from Autoglance. And for anybody unfamiliar with the channel and or my Quick Test Tuesday series, this is where a simpleton like myself goes into a shop, picks a product up off the shelf, follows the instructions and decides on that would I buy this product again or is it going straight in the bin. Now of course to test out any wheel cleaner you need some dirty wheels. So let's take a look at what we're going to be dealing with. Now despite how things may appear, rumour has it there are actually gloss black wheels underneath all of this. But anyone who's familiar with my circumstances knows that following surgery I've been out of action for a couple of months and the wheels obviously, like the rest of the car, haven't been cleaned in that time. And by that time I mean from mid to late February right up until the end of April. So they've gone through all seasons, the roads have been absolutely shocking, we've even had snow in that time period. And as you can see they are absolutely filthy. As are the tires. Now these tires haven't been treated, cleaned, dressed, anything for probably about three months at this stage. So they're also need a bit of a clean up. But I'm not going to use Alkaloy for that because Alkaloy has a dedicated, very powerful stable mate, which most of you will be familiar with, and that is Autoglance Rebound, which I'm going to use in this video as well. So without further ado, let's get the products ready. Now the instructions on the bottle state that alkaloid can be used neat or it can be diluted down to a 1 to 20 solution, which is near enough 5% give or take. Now having used alkaloid many many times in the past, I know that using it neat is unnecessary to say the least, it's a very powerful wheel cleaner. So I'm going to go halfway down the middle, halfway down the middle, I'm going to go down the middle with a 10% dilution, so 100ml of product to 900ml of water. I also have half a bucket of warm water for my brushes because, as we all know, going in dry just is not a safe option. And in terms of brushes then, we have our Tough Shine style tyre brush, a toothbrush, a Soft 99 soft detailing brush, a wheel wash mitt from KDN Detailing and a Max Shine wheel woolly style brush. Easy for me to say. That's like a weird episode of the Generation game. But let's get back to the task in hand. So what I'm going to do first of all, which I always do, particularly when the wheels are in this bad a condition, is use the product as a pre-wash. So spray it liberally onto the wheel, allow it to dwell for, for a minute or so whilst they clean the tyres and then rinse it off. This should take most of that heavy soil in the way, meaning when it comes to contact washing the wheel, particularly with the gloss back wheels, I'm not going to inflict any damage onto the wheel surface. And then I can crack on with the Auto Glance Rebound Tire Cleaner. Now they do say that two sprays is generally enough for one tire, but given that I have five litres of the stuff in the garage, I'm really not going to miss an extra two to three sprays on each tire. Now you can leave this stuff to dwell for a minute or so and then start scrubbing. Now one thing you may notice straight away here is that the car's jacked up off the ground, meaning that I'm able to turn the wheel. But I'll come back to that a bit later in the video. For now, let's just get these tires scrubbed. Tires well enough scrubbed now and I can rinse away the rebound and indeed the alkaloid that is sprayed on as a pre-wash product to the wheels and we can see that it's done an excellent job of removing the, the heavy layer layer ugh, can you really speak the heavy layer of soiling that was on the wheels. And just of course to be sure that we've cleaned the tires properly, I'm going to give it a second hit of the rebound and as you can see the foam is coming up whiter than white. And I know some people may have wondered what on earth the toothbrush was doing going into the wheel bucket. Well this is what the toothbrush is for, or what I use it for anyway. And it's purely just to get in the gap between the rim and the tyre that I don't want to risk damage in the wheel face with the tyre brush. It's as simple as that. Of course I do have another toothbrush for cleaning my teeth, but that's another video altogether. But back to the main topic of conversation for this video, which is of course the alkaloid. So we're back with our 10% dilution, and again going to spray the wheel face rather liberally. Making sure of course that I also get plenty of product in around the wheel barrels as well. Now going by the number of sprays it may look like I've used an awful lot of product on one wheel. But if you stick around to the end of the video you may be very surprised at just how much and we will review that later on. 
Now, like many others, I have said numerous times in the past that when it comes to cleaning delicate wheel finishes, you want to use a soft media to do so, i.e. a soft detailing brush. And I find this soft 99 one absolutely perfect. I've been using it for quite a while on these wheel faces and haven't seen any damage yet. Well, certainly not from the brush anyway. Another soft product I like to use, which was actually for the back of the wheel spokes, well that's what I use it for, is this little wheel mitt from KDN Detailing. So back to what I mentioned earlier about the car being jacked up off the ground. Now I know that these rim mats or rim mat style products have become very popular recently and I can see the advantage of them, however for the two cars that we own and for most of the cars that I clean, Getting into the gap between the brake caliper and the wheel rim is still impossible with the brushes I have. So I have to turn the wheel regardless, so therefore it's easier for me just to spend a few seconds jacking the wheels up off the ground, rather than lining up four plastic wheel mats only to have to move them again anyway when it comes to cleaning the other sections of the wheel. Now obviously that's not going to be the case for everybody, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that particular type of product, all I'm saying is that it's not for me because it wouldn't suit my circumstances. But enough about all that, I'm going to finish rinsing down this wheel, go and get the other three washed and then take a look at exactly how much product we've used. So taking a closer look at our spray bottle, which if you remember was filled up to the 1 litre mark, you can see that after cleaning all four wheels, there's just over 750 mils of product left. So we've used, for argument's sake, 250 mils. So let's work out what that's going to cost per wash. So by today's prices on the Autoglans website, it's 13.95 for one litre. We made up a one litre solution at 10%, which is 1.40, which gives us a cost per wash of approximately 35 pence. Now compare that to your market leading wheel shampoos, which come in at roughly £10 for a 500ml bottle. You use generally around 20ml per bucket, which gives you a cost of wash of around 40 pence. So if you're looking at a 5 pence difference per wash, really that's negligible, it doesn't really make a difference, so it just depends on the circumstances. You might prefer to use the wheel shampoo for a weekly maintenance wash, or sometimes you just need a bit more kick and you might want to go in with something a bit stronger. And for the first time in 3 months, that leaves just one more question. Well, if you've been listening, you'll probably realise there's not a lot of suspense with this one. I've been using Rebound regularly for over a year now, I absolutely love it, so no issues there. And Alkalo is another product that, although you don't see on the channel an awful lot, it's a product I've been using for a couple of years now. It's an excellent wheel cleaner, it's great value for money, and it's one of those products you know you're going to pick up and it's going to get the job done. And on that subject, let's just take a quick look at the final results. And what more needs to be said, at a cost of less than 9 pence a wheel, I think that's done an absolutely fantastic job. And that's all I have to say, I'd like to thank you very much for watching, I hopefully see you in the next one, and take care.